School is a great way to diversify the knowledge of a child. But what's the point of diversification when you do not recognize diversity? How many kids from your class can you remember who did not fit into the conventional student outlook? Who couldn't restrict their brain within four walls? Who couldn't write their exams within three hours? Who couldn't focus their eyes on a two-dimensional board? Who couldn't build one resume? For the first few years of our lives, we're taught to walk and talk. And for the rest of our lives, we're taught to shut up and sit down. So what if school does not recognize our diversity? The world would. The world recognizes those who are passionate, those who have big goals, work ethic and zeal, those who are obsessed with the beauty of their dreams. For those who find grades and marks imperative to success, they need to know that there's an entire group of highly skilled individuals who resent the fetishization of marks because people like them don't limit themselves to good grades, vacant jobs and financial security. We want to build a life and not a resume. We have our own obsessions. Just because our path is different doesn't mean that we're lost. Being passionate about something and following your natural bent fuels your drive better than anything else. Everyone has a different way of thinking, perceiving and doing things. So there's no point of calling someone's life better or worse just by comparing the profession or cash flow. That may be measured, but what cannot be measured is hard work, hustle, courage and audacity. It's not usually the smart who succeed, but the bold. So this is for the ones who question the convention. The ones who don't crave marks, but knowledge. The ones who don't want to see the future, but invent it. The ones who want to be victors and not victims. The ones who want to hire and not get hired. The ones who are differently wired.